Which movie has the best plot twist? The Sixth Sense was such a big deal that the director is still able to make big budget flops over and over again anytime he wants to. Edit, I don't normally edit. But I want to point out that I didn't say every movie he's made since has flopped. I've liked everything I've seen except for the Avatar movie. And I didn't even hate the happening. But we all know that the internet roasts him no matter what he puts out. And my comment was more poking fun at that than anything else. I can say Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I didn't expect Severus to be the good character. Or Fight Club. I am not sure I like the film. But the plot was a great one. Edit, Butterfly Effect. Both the director's cut and the usual version. I'm seeing a lot of newer movies. So I'll list out some classics. Psycho, 1960, a true classic. Going Blind. Chinatown, 1974, someone posted a quote from the film. But the last 20 minutes or so are hard to predict. Murder on the Orient Express, 1974, this is one of those where the ending recontextualizes everything. A great mystery film. Don't Breathe. Kids invade a blind veteran's home, easy target right? Nope. They find themselves trapped in a house with a blind vet whose hearing is so good he can hear you breathe. He kills one. Is hunting the others. Then, twist. Holy crap. Never saw that coming. Sometimes I wonder who gave the green light to that twist. Diabolical. Safety not guaranteed absolutely did not see that coming. Shutter Island read the book first. So I knew the twist and got to watch the audience around me once it was made into a movie. That one got everyone. Dark City so creepy and the misters are just nightmare fuel. Then the twist hits. What Bible stories could also be Florida man stories? Florida man replaces all fluids at party with alcohol and quat. Florida man claims giant flood will destroy earth and opos. Builds boat to save all animals. No room for humans and quat. Florida man kills man with donkey jaw and quat. Florida man claims wife pregnant with son of God. Quote, of course it's God's. We've literally never had sex exclamation mark and quat. Elderly Florida man converses with flaming shrub. Now claims ownership over royal slaves. And quat. I think a better question is what biblical story couldn't also be a Florida man story. Florida little person kills tall person with slingshot. Mob of Florida men try to gang rape sisters. Sisters subsequently rape father. Florida woman steals fruit. Blames reptile. Florida man kills hundreds with donkey bone. Florida man kidnaps animals. Hides them on boat. Florida man passes out drunk and gets raped by son. Leading to some really racist comments about black people and ham. Florida man talks to Bush, a plant. Not the equally charismatic former governor. Basically every Old Testament story ever. And a lot from the NT. Florida man builds skyscraper and starts cult. Saying they will reach God. And quat. Florida man wanders the wilderness eating nothing but honey and locusts. Says Messiah almost here. And quat. Florida man says he was swallowed by whale for three days and three nights. Claims to have had divine experience in the stomach and quat. Florida man claims his friend is the Messiah. Then snitches on him to authorities for reward and quat. Florida man claims to have killed Bigfoot with slingshot. More to come at noon. And quat. How do you get rid of the feeling of emptiness and numbness? I started looking into different hobbies I could try and started putting a guided morning meditation before I get out of bed. A yoga video on YouTube to start the day. Journaling, any time of the day and sometimes multiple times a day. Listening to self-help podcasts through the day and then at night. Making myself food. Doing a bedtime yoga. Reading from a self-help book and falling asleep to a guided sleep meditation podcast. The first podcast I started to listen to was Date Yourself Instead and then Sad Too Savage and these really changed my thought process in life. I got meds that help me to get out of my depression corner and in addition I try to do as much with my friends as possible. Even if it's just online gaming. As long as I am not alone doing nothing. It helps. And I got two cats and a bunny they help a lot as well. Don't get pets if you're not sure. If you can care for them. I have mine for over 10 years already and I am not the only one in this house caring for them. Edit. Grammar. Spelling. Find a hobby. And don't tell me nothing interests me. You're probably on your phone all the time. That's an interest right there. Now branch out more. Do a jumping jack do you like the feeling after working out? Draw random squiggles do you enjoy being free to draw with no rules? Dig a hole in the dirt do you enjoy being impactful semicolon using your hands? Emptiness and numbness is found semicolon created from within. You're not letting yourself see the joy in activities semicolon life. Something is preventing you from being open to possibilities. Dig deep within yourself and ask questions to find your answer. It's very possible to help yourself. Just don't give up. Eating an unhealthy salad is still better than eating something processed slash greasy. Right? I think it's more useful to think about how something is better than what you were doing before. If you normally eat a McDouble and Big Mac and a large soda every day for dinner, then an unhealthy salad and a glass of water is an enormous improvement. But if you're a health nut with a super strict diet plan with specific limits on all your macros, it's definitely not great. As with all things it's all about perspective and context. Legit 600 calories a day will miraculously make you lose weight. PSMF is an example of this type of diet. We need to define what you mean by better though. The cheeseburger will easily have more protein than the salad which is more essential than carbs which the salad mostly is. 
As for micronutrients I'm gonna take a guess and say you'll have differing micronutrients so you could probably argue both ways as to which is better. I'd take the cheeseburger personally. Assuming it's a decent quality one. There's a difference in eating for health and eating for weight loss. Although eating less slash being in a caloric deficit itself does seem to directly improve a lot of health issues. Salad is still better because it's not full of cholesterol like a typical burger would be. Veggies give you vitamins and microelements that red meat in a bun won't have. Store-bought dressing is the devil though. Replace it with your own dressing to make your salad healthier. Use olive oil, soy sauce or Greek yogurt as a base. Then play around with spices. Different kinds of vinegar slash lemon or lime juice. Aromatic herbs like fresh basil, dill, cilantro, mint or whatever other ones you like. This way you can control the amount of calories and presence slash percentage of unhealthy ingredients in your dressing as well as discover new flavors.